Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Project Hospital episode number six of our playthrough here in 2023. So uh we got a few things that we need to do and we need to get a few more night staff. I really need to hospitalize because uh, I can't unlock treat uh increase patients next intent uh in terms available. Okay, so basically I want this. This is what I'm really after. So we need to hospitalize somewhere. I've got 51,000 in the bank. Now, my cheapest place to hospitalize will be the sexual health clinic. Um, but I do need some night staff because I've noticed there are people waiting. So we are going to get someone cheap at night. Uh, I mean, he's not great, but he'll do. Uh, just so it can help uh, serve some of these people that have... Uh, you know what, that one can wait. I think... The x-rays nearly need two because the night lady is rushing around quite a lot. Uh, they're not cheap. Really, really not cheap. Okay. Let's get another night cleaner, someone that's cheap. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so I'm happy with those few changes. Now, before I hospitalize, realistically, I need another doctor's unit, I think. Especially... In We'll, we'll see how this goes today, but I think I definitely need one more. And I want to build a pharmacy because a pharmacy will get us a nice little extra income. Now, where I'm going to build that is a little bit of a problem. I'm thinking it's going to have to be up here. So let's have a look then. Let's have a look at our building. Uh, can I get rid of that tree trunk? We can. One of you are can go. If I build a pharmacy on the outside, maybe... It only has to be very small. Doesn't need to be a big pharmacy or anything like that. If we were to put something like that down. Uh, we go on to the floors. Uh, we want to probably concrete the first bit there, no? It'll let me. Why not? I'm going to have to build there, aren't I? Right. Or is there not enough foundation? Well, we might as well have it slightly connected off now, aren't we? I don't think it makes much difference. Okay, so let's build a wall then. Uh, we're going to build it on the road here. For the moment, we're going to keep with the brick on the outside. Like so. Oh, it's the wrong brick, isn't it? No, it's the right brick. This is the wrong brick. I mean, it's not even brick at all. Okay, so we're going to fix these areas. Saying that, though, this bit here might change, so I don't want to go too crazy. And we'll put another wall on the back. So we need some doors. Double glass doors, I think, are fine. Is this odd numbered? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So, for a pharmacy to be built, we go to the admin department. We're going to put a pharmacy in here. Like so. And now it's just missing its equipment and stuff, so we'll sort all that out. Uh, how are we going to do this? I want to put things in behind. Okay, so that's a drop-off shelf. And we need an advice counter as well. So if we put two of either, and then put the pharmacy desk in between, we'll leave a little gap for them to get out. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know... How many of these spots actually need a chair? We'll put we'll put three chairs in. We ain't gonna have that many staff working here. So, uh, drug shelf. Do we have any that goes behind? Doesn't seem okay. The drug shelves with drawers is what I want to put behind here. Something like that. We'll give them a PC, because that's what they need. And then we'll get some small drug shelves. Uh, 
There you go. That, that'll do for our pharmacy area. Doesn't need uh, much more. We spin it around. Nice little spinner, Rooney. There we go. We'll put the pharmacy cross on the outside. Probably won't give them anything like that. No. We'll give them a printer, maybe. Medical shelves. So it looks like they got stuff there. Maybe some card files. There you go, we've got some advice here. And this is the drop off. In case people did not know. Not much else I can put in. Give them some fruit juice, look. Yeah, I think that's okay just for the, the short term. It's not a huge pharmacy or anything, but it's just going to do its job. Uh, what kind of floor are we going to give the pharmacy? Maybe green. Kind of goes with the sexual health a little bit. So we want our patients now to be using this for the drugs, basically, is what we're after here. Uh, and then we'll just give it the green walls all the way around, I suppose, on the inside. Like so. We'll turn it around. The front just needs a bit of green. Yeah, I mean, it'll do the job. Okay, admin. Let's get someone in day and night. So we want someone that's actually good at pharmacy. And then in the evening, I'm not so bothered. You're my cheapest. But for a little bit more, he's a bit better. Okay, I'm going to open it day and night to start with. Let's see if that's worth doing or not. Okay, so the next thing is now, see, does this start making a profit? Because that's just cost me over 10 grand. We'll have to wait and see. So when they give prescriptions, we're hoping now people are going to start using this pharmacy. Early days, early days. There you go, there you go. It's our first patient. What did he spend? Ten pound. Okay, but look, it's going to turn some money. Pharmacy is a good way to make money, I think. Should we get a nice little screenshot? There you go. So if we wanted more people to work here, we need more computers. But we could put one down there if we wished. It's a very drab pharmacy. But it will have to do for now. Okay, hospitalization at the sexual health clinic. Just for quick interest, what do I actually need? An on-call room, a nurse's station, and an observation room. I mean, the observation room is basically this, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't actually mean to put you down. I just wanted to see... So I'm f Ugh. Now, now I've made an absolute rubbish of that, haven't I? Traumatology's messed up. Like my two trauma centers. Okay, that one doesn't have any equipment anyway, so that's fine. So... <sighs> We might as well look at this foundation building. What's it going to cost me to do that? Five grand. Let's do it because it's going to be something that's going to be needed. So let's just put the wall going like that. And we'll do something nice in here maybe. Well, actually, I'm going to put another doctor's office probably. Maybe two if we can squeeze it in. So this will probably be that ward. Okay. So that would be the idea. I'm not going to go into it too much at this second because I do need to put a, a doctor's and a nurse's office somewhere. So we're probably going to have to extend up the corridor. Or extend it this way, maybe. Maybe that would be a good place now to start thinking about that. So maybe if we put in the foundation. So if I was to put in a corridor going four up here. 
and then I can use the rest of this space, whatever's needed. Sort of 31,000. So, one, two, three, four. If we put a corridor going up here as well, this is probably the best way to use up space. And we can make both of them rooms probably fit in that space. Okay, let's just go have a look. Let's let the day play through a little bit, see if there's anything I actually urgently need. Two, two have already left today. There we go. Pharmacy is doing the job. $50, he's a very busy man this man, $100, oh he's gone on his break, bugger him, hopefully he'll come back soon, probably why we need two people in here, I mean, so I think he's probably paid his wages for the day. Okay, no clear diagnosis. What are we going on here then? Influenza. Have we got nothing else that we can do? Not available, can't be prescribed in this department. Well, where is he? He's, he's, he's there. I mean, he's got a cold. We could put him into observations. I mean, is it, is it that? Let's, let's forget. Let's do it. Okay, somebody else is, uh, no clear diagnosis. I need to go have a look at him now. We should slow down the time a little bit. Oh, freaking influenza's again. Okay, let's go with B. There's obviously an outbreak here. Patients are leaving. That's my third patient to leave today. That's not good. Especially when we need money. Well, there's just blood kicking around over here. Doctor and only one nurse here. So maybe this is something that's causing me some problems as well. Cheap nurse to run people around? Let's do it. I think two nurses are needed, to be honest. Bloody blood everywhere. What, what happened here? $140. Wow. He's now going to go on his break. Okay. I, th I think it's force in my hand here that we need to get building. So... We know it's going to stick out. We're going to throw it down the back here. And I'll put it up front for now. We know it's going to be a corridor. So I can delete this little bit of wall. That's going to go up. We'll, we, we'll sort this bit out in a minute. Uh, okay, so... We are green in here by the looks of things, right? Yeah, green with the tiles. So let's just go straight up. Let's knock them walls down. And then uh, we'll go just straight in half between the two rooms. I think that's fair. The nurse's room could probably be a bit bigger than the doctor's room. Just because that cuts off there. We do need to get the inside here. There we go. Very nice. Give me that floor, please. Boom. And then uh, we want 
this floor. In them two rooms, and probably in here as well, because we know it's green. 30,000, so that's two grand spent. Nice. Uh, sexual health, that's what I'm looking for here. So, the nurse's room can go here. Observation rooms on, on call room can go there. Just realize that they don't actually have the uh, walls done on this side either. So straight down with the wall. We need to get a couple of doors thrown in. Probably double doors for doctors, right? And then we're definitely going to want some doors on here. Problem is, I did want them to be green, so let's swap them over. It's going to cost me another 100, but it's all right. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, windows. Yeah, some windows probably would not hurt in this hospital, would it? There you go, a couple of windows will do. Okay, so we'll put some wheelchairs. I'm going to put some stuff kicking around the hospital as well. It'll do no harm. People can use whatever they want then. Uh, what else is needed in here? Probably put a sanitary equipment in both of them. Yeah, there's not much needed actually for for it, apart from a stretcher or two now. That's more like a hospital bed one. That's a bit nicer. So we'll put one of you in. And again, these kind of things can be kicking around and they'll pick up and use whatever whatever's available. They're, they're very good like that. So that's a basic one of their rooms. Now the doctor's room, I want to do basically the same. Might give a bit more space. Now, I'm only putting more in just in case it is ever needed, but I, I don't think it's going to. I think it's, uh, I mean, sexual health. Is it that busy, really? Not really. Okay, we'll put the two PCs opposite sides for now because being annoying. There we go. We'll get the nice office chairs. Is that all these guys need? put a TV on their wall. <laughs> I mean, they can both have bookshelves. They like it to look nice. Uh, put some cubicle stuff in here. Oh, we'll give them a radio. The kind like that. I mean, these guys can have a radio on a table for a bit. I mean, is a sofa taking the, the mick a little bit? We'll put a sofa in it. I mean, the doctors, right? They get everything. Uh, aquarium. Where did, the, where did the aquarium come from? That's something that can go in a ward, really. Cordless phones. Oh, we've got everything now. Couple of clocks. 
we can go cutlery, daily menus, uh, fire extinguishers are a must, obviously, in all hospitals. Fire alarm. Get another one down there on the wall. What else have we got? Just some sort of posters. I don't know, spam posters. Not quite sexual health, but it's uh, something, right? Poster notes. I believe it takes up a whole thing of itself. Viral posters. Enough to scare everybody, isn't it? Okay, so. What am I down to? 20,000. I think we can get at least a bed put in. I think we're going to have to go cheap as well, I'm afraid. But I get one... We'll go three beds for now, on the short term. Need to decorate the inside of this thing. So I don't forget. Okay, so three beds on that short term. They do need bed sockets. Uh, what else do they we need next to the beds? Bedside cabinets. Don't expect them to be massively busy. Uh, defibrillator on the wall in case anyone dies on me. Hospitals should always have quite a few of these just kicking around anyways, in all honesty. I think they'll be okay. Life monitor, 1500. 1100. 1500. ADL. I'll have a look at that in a minute. <laughs> they do need a sink in here. It's the kind of thing that can go here, I suppose. And some equipment. Something can go underneath that, maybe. Mobile cabinet. Why can't you go under there, but you can go there. Oh, maybe that's not needed. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to fork out for these life monitors. <sighs> Damn pricey. Okay, they can't use this. It's not in a good place. So we'll put it in that corner. Mobile workstations. Do I only need one? If that's the case. Let's just put it over here and they can wheel it round. Uh, a chart board for in here, obviously. Everyone needs a chart board. Probably should put some chart boards in, in their rooms as well. Where possible. Okay, so we're going to need some cabinets. Because we do need CRP stuff. We need an audio meter. And we do need a hazard bin. We'll put it under there. Equipment tables. I mean, we'll throw a wheelchair in here or two. We'll make it nice eventually. At the moment, money is dawdling. Okay, so. Get hospitalization. I only need one day, one night nurse. Okay, you're pretty good. Night nurse, I'm not too worried about. If they got a bit of nursing, would be good. I.E. you. You're pretty damn good. And in the evening, again, I'm not too worried. 320. Okay, so we've got 15 more patients a day now. But that's going to cause me one more problem. And I'm going to wait. <laughs> okay, so sexual health, chief doctor, that's still fine. That's all there. Okay, let's press play. Let's see what kind of happens in the short term. There we go. There we go. Let's uh, sort that out. 
Let's get back down to the front. I don't even know where the front of the hospital is anymore. Not you. There you go. Right, let's press play. Let's see what's going to happen throughout the day. We're going to get more patients now. So intensive care, this is how I'm going to unlock the ambulances. So that's going to be something we're going to need to do next. But intensive care is hella, hella expensive. So I'm not quite at that stage yet, I don't think. Let's see how we go. Great day, everyone's using the pharmacy. Sadly, I didn't get any bonus money, I don't think. Perfect. So that next one of that insurance has gone up. Prestige bonus. Not really worried about prestige too much. Prestige is actually pretty good. Uh, medical laboratories are the worst. Now I've only got one person working them in the day, so I don't know now is it time to maybe get a few more than working. I don't think I made any money yesterday. Okay, the pharmacy made two grand. Not bad. That's not bad. Okay, let's speed up the day. I mean, it's actually time for us to maybe... No, we're not going to have enough time now. 51. 49. We're so close. Day news. State election is coming. New public health of 10% high insurance payments. Okay, that's going to be a huge bonus for tomorrow. Okay, there should be 56 patients walking in today. I don't know what she was waiting for. I'm honest. So we'll put the intensive care unit in the back here. I think that would be my plan. Probably need another nighttime normal doctor in here see if we can find somebody I mean he's pretty good and he's better and cheaper all right let's take him what's he waiting for Okay, he's now serving someone as well. Okay, is she going to use the pharmacy? She better do.
What is wrong with her? What does she actually need? She's under observation. I mean, all the doctors are coming to work now, so she better sort her life out. Two have walked and three have been served. Oh, wow. It's going to be a terrible day, isn't it? Psychiatry. All right, I'm not going to go into that just yet. I've, got, I've only got 6,000 in the bank. We lose quite a bit at night time. We could do with some more government grants, couldn't we? Create one doctor with character editor in hiring card. This might be worth doing. This one will give me more for open traumatology clinic. Which is you. All right. She had an ankle contusion. Well, let's x-ray her then. I mean, I, I don't know. What have you got? Okay, so maybe we'll give him to Mr. Taylor. Oh, Jesus Christ, these guys are busy as well. Now, I don't know how many people might be waiting on things. That could be the worst part here. Let's see how the day progresses. So this is the problem with this game. It, it gets busy quick, but then we're not making money quick. <laughs> so it gets tough. It could be a case of huge loans. Thinking we might need somebody else there. Okay, let's have a look. What's wrong with you? There's five hidden symptoms still. So, I mean, you've not done everything. At all. Give him everything. Have a look at the budget. Lucky that some places are doing better than others, right? Making 2,000 so far in the day. Could be a case that we're going to have to get a loan. The x-ray department is still missing one thing, isn't it? The CAG room. 
and a CT. Okay, it's missing quite a lot in radiology. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there for today. We're going to let it play through. I'm probably going to let it play through two or three days now um, if we're building money because we need money before we can progress. Not sure what I'm going to do next. Any of you have any hints and tips? Be my guest. Uh, this hospitalization here has been a waste of money. Of course, we know it would be, but it probably should still make money. The, the things are quite good. And this place should make good money too. Like they're all queuing in here. We might need to put in a second computer. And hopefully they go and breaks at different times. Because look, he's leaving again. I mean, putting a second computer into this place isn't a big deal. We could probably do that before we finish. Um... I don't like the prices of these people. There we go. I think having two of them here will be okay. Look at that. They're working so well. But haven't they gone on the break at the same time? Oh my god. I think there's a way to, to fix that. We'll have to look into it. <laughs> okay, so we're up to 24,000. What happened here? Five grand's been made here. Three grand there. You're making some money. X-ray is obviously losing money. So is the radiology. It's expected. 15,000 on the day. So yeah, we're looking good, guys. We're looking good. Um, subscribe if you are new. Hit that like button. And uh, let me know in the comments down below. Is this something you still want me to do? Let me know. And uh, maybe we might even do a live stream of this. What do you think? Let me know. Um, bye for now.